Robin Hood Freddie Flintoff stole tech and gave to poor when working at Woolworths Top Gear star Freddie Flintoff reveals he stole a Sony PlayStation among other high-tech goods to help the poorer families of the Northwest from his then-employer Woolworths as a teen Fred's days as a Woolies Robin Hood, image, Getty Images by Helena Watts 21 colon 31, October 30, 2021. Comments Freddie Flintoff has admitted he used to steal expensive items and give them away Robin Hood style when he worked at Woolworths. The Top Gear star, 43, says he even let someone have a free Sony PlayStation to help the poorer families of the Northwest. Born in Preston, Lanks, Freddie is now worth an estimated £15 million. In his new autobiography The Book of Fred, he writes about his teenage store job, saying, If I tell anyone born before 1985 I worked in Woolies, they automatically assume I must have stolen from the pick and mix, loose sweets. And I did. They were long shifts and I needed the sugar to get me through. But chocolate mice, bonbons and blackjacks were the least of their worries. I may also have been involved in acquiring a PlayStation. What do you think of Freddy's admission? Have your say in the comment section you see, I found out about a very helpful technical term early on in my career in the retail industry called shrinkage. I think it was designed to take care of damaged goods or faulty items that were returned to the store. A percentage, if you like that was written into the profit and loss to account for stuff going wrong. You could also describe it as a perk for the likes of me and my big brother, Chris. Customers would come in who I happened to know and it just so happened the items they were selecting somehow didn't go through the till accurately. In fact, they didn't go through at all. It was Christmas after all and the people I was looking out for couldn't afford a PlayStation. In my mind, I was doing a good deed and I stand by it to this day. When Woolworths went under, it did occur to me that the scale of the light fingers multiplied across their stores nationwide would probably have played a significant part. Get the latest news direct to your inbox. Sign up to one of the Mirror's newsletters back in the early 90s, there were no infrared handguns to clock the items as they were going through. Nope, I'm afraid to inform you all those items just mysteriously disappeared through my good pal shrinkage. Freddy also said he would give customers money for their bus fares home. But in the end he had to draw a line because the situation started to escalate. Freddy said, I knew it was time to stop when a guy I didn't know came up to me, winked at me and asked for a PlayStation. He had no means to pay for it. He said security back then was the least fearful human beings plucked from the dole queue to work as store detectives. Freddy first shot to fame as an England cricketer before becoming a TV favorite on A League of Their Own and later landing his role on the BBC motoring show. The Ashes hero described his thieving as Robin Hood style heroics, looking after the poorer families of the Northwest. The British arm of Woolworths went into administration in 2008. Its stores used to sell everything from the latest pop singles to household goods and even fishing tackle. But they fell out of favor as shoppers turned to big supermarkets and pound shops. Follow Mirror Facebook Twitter comment.